Hey guys, it's Robin here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back and watching another video with me. Um, it's warm in here. I've been doing a lot of work, putting up stuff. So this video is some things that my mother and I found at a garage sale and a thrift store. And we got some heck of good deals. And I just wanted to share them with you. So today we stopped by a garage sale. And it was just on our way to the post office and we happened to run by it and we went in. And the first thing that caught my eye was this humongous turkey platter. And um, it doesn't say who it's by. It doesn't have any markings on it. And my daughter is hosting Thanksgiving dinner this year per my brother's request. And so I thought, I wonder if she has a turkey platter. This is the back. It has this little thing here. And... So I asked the lady how much it was, and she said a dollar. And I was like, well, I want that. And then there were three other platters sitting on top of it. And I didn't hear her say it, but she said, if you want all of them, you can have all of them for $2. And so my mom said, we might as well take them all. So I'm gonna show them all with you. And this one is super duper heavy. I mean, very, very heavy. And the only mark it has on it is made in China and this little thing right here that keeps it from be it's the same height then as this and so we got this one and then there was this one that is also super heavy and just plain and it says Rigo made in China and it has the little thing right there in the middle as well and it has a little G right here I don't know what any of that means but that's what's on it Okay, so we got those two, the turkey platter, and then this is the third one, and it is a Royal Majestic Fine China, D apostrophe or 8404 China, and it has the gold around here and here, and this is the back of it. Okay, so those were the four platters that we got, and then I found this. And it was only, it was marked five, but it was one dollar. And it's for your K-Cups. It's got the wood at the bottom here. And looks like this. And then it has the little things on the bottom here to protect your cabinet. So I got this for one dollar and then I found this and I'm going to put it with my Halloween town from the Dollar Tree. It's a little pumpkin tree with the pumpkins and ghosts and this was a quarter and then I picked up a Kind of like a library cart a big it reminds me of in the prison movies what they're pushing the books down the aisle with to the prisoners but they're also in schools um where else honey hospitals and it's metal and it has the book racks on both sides and the wheels on the bottom and it's not in great shape it's got a little bit of rust on it and i asked how much they wanted for it and they said one dollar so I was like, sold. So it was supposed to be $2 for the platters and a dollar for the K-Cups and a dollar for the Willy cart. And when I got ready to pay, she only charged me a dollar for the platters. And I did correct her and she goes, yeah, I know, don't worry about it. So I got these platters for 25 cents a piece. Plus this for a quarter, the owl thing, I spent well, my mother paid for it, actually. We spent $3.25, got four beautiful platters, this, the metal cart, and the owl K-cups. And so, that was my garage sale find for the day. Okay, so yesterday, we went to a thrift store here in town. <coughs> my mom wanted to do some thrifting while she was down. <coughs> so, we went to a thrift store. 
and she picked up this cabinet, cabinet, whatever you want to call it, for her wall. And it hangs from the two little hooks back here. You open it up, and it's got a shelf in there. Get it open. So it's got a shelf. And then it has this, which my husband determined was for CDs or DVDs. But anyway, so my mom wants it to put in her bathroom and put her medications and stuff in. And then she can close it up and it hides all of that stuff from viewers. And she's talking about maybe painting it and shabby chicing it up a little. But sorry guys, interrupted by a phone call from my daughter needing a password that she should already know. Irritating. But anyway, let's get on with this, what we got from the thrift store. So, my mom found a heck of a deal on some baskets. She got this woven basket with no frays, no holes, no nothing. This one was $2.99. She got this one for $99, or not, $95, sorry, $0.95. Cents. Looks like this. Also, no frays, no holes, no tears, no nothing. She got this basket for $1.99. It has the bamboo bottom, the bamboo handles. So, and then the last thing that she got from the thrift store was this galvanized bucket. It has the one hole, which I believe it was probably hung like this, which I told her would be gorgeous. Hang it like this and put a plant in it. But this was 95 cents. Yeah. So, and there's no, no rust, no stains, or no holes, no nothing. So those were my mother's finds from the thrift store. And then I picked up this mirror for $3.99 which it's plastic and got the plastic back, kind of, with the hole down here to hang it up, but I want my husband to fix me one here. It's gonna go sideways like this, and I'm gonna paint all this gold. So, that was my find for $3.99. And that was everything we got at the thrift store. So that was our garage sale and thrift store haul. <coughs> Thank you, thank you for coming back and watching another video with me. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please feel free to hit it. It'll give you the option of being notified anytime I post a new video. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please comment below. I love it when you guys interact with me. Um, I am still debating on whether or not I want to do a QA. and a If anybody's interested in that, just let me know in the comments below and I will set up a video for you to ask the questions and then I will set up a second video where I answer them for you. Uh, again, tomorrow's Monday. It is Columbus Day, so if you're off, I hope you enjoy it. And you have, if you have to work, I hope it's a good Monday for you. You guys, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Who won, Texas or OU? I think Texas was a OU one. If you're an OU fan, congratulations. And if you're a Longhorns, Okay, well, we're not for sure. So leave it in the comments below. Who won? Texas OU. The Red, Rival, the Red River Rivalry. Does anybody know who won? Leave it in the comments below and let me know. I'm not a football person, so I don't root for either team over one. So anyway, my mom thinks OU won. Of course, she's an OU fan. So who knows? Anyway, everybody, have a good one.